Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot, and um, welcome to today's Pick a Card, which is, what does Spirit want you to know about your career? Um, so in this reading, we're going to look at pretty much anything relating to career. Um, it could be finances, it could even be if you're not currently working, uh, just anything in this general area for everybody today. So I am going to show you the four groups. We have them in front of us um, you can take a look at the thumbnail picture if you need a better look, but I'll show you each one. But before I do, as promised, I'm finally going to tell you what my mysterious announcement is. Um, and in the next video or so, I'm not sure exactly when I'll do it, I will show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but the announcement is that I have created my very own tarot deck. Um, this took me a long time. Uh, I started this project I think it must have been April of last year, March or April of last year, and I finally sent it to print in December, and then, you know, things happened. Um, they're going to be available for pre-order, but I don't have them printed yet. It's very costly to print it, um, so I'm going to have those available for pre-order. I will show the unboxing in a in the next video or so so if you guys are interested to see the deck that i created i i'm gonna i'll tell you all the details in the next video but um that is my mysterious announcement and i will have another announcement in that next video to, to tell you more details about other stuff so anyways um this so i'll just get into the four selections here for your career so this is going to be group number one the gold feather group number one this is group number two, the chrysoprase. And I'll show you each of the groups twice from now on, if I remember. And uh, group number three, we have three different uh, stones here. We have the citrine here in the middle. And we also have the copper spheres. These are actually really heavy, than, like heavier than they look. Uh, the copper spheres. And the final group, group number four, is the Sage and Mint Bundle. Okay, so as you probably have guessed, like uh, all of these selections do have to do with Korean pros prosperity. Okay, so I'll show you again, um, for those of you who want a better look, this is group number one, the Gold Feather. Group number two, Chrysoprase. Group number three, Citrine and Copper. I don't, did I show you that next, last time? And then the Sage and Mint bundle, number four. All right, so again, just take as much time as you need. Group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. And I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, welcome to group number one's reading, The Gold Feather. Let's see what spirit has for you. What does spirit want you to know about your career? Spirit, this reading is for group one, gold feather, please. Please provide us clear guided messages. Thank you. Sorry if you hear a lot of traffic outside. Spirit, um, do you have a starting message for group number one, our gold feather group? What is your first message? for them about their career or just a general message please what do they need to hear thank you oh, okay that's a very promising first message you got the ten of pentacles i'll show you in a second strength wow this is really such a positive start okay so let me show you what we have so we have the ten of pentacles the strength card the nine of pentacles that really blew me away because you got nine and ten these to me are the most powerful prosperity cards and then you also got the knight of pentacles okay so what i am seeing group one uh the first three cards are obviously filled with strength and prosperity and the knight of pentacles as the fourth card is not saying that things are going to be slow i actually think that what spirit wants you to know and especially depending on what you're working on and thinking about at this time is that this is going to be a step-by-step -step process it is going to be 
a paced kind of path ahead of you. Um, and I feel like that, I mean, that definitely resonates with me. Like um, I said something in the intro about like if you should watch the intro if you don't know what I'm talking about but like certain things in terms of career and our paths uh, like even our projects it is a step-by-step process and we often cannot uh, we can't change that and we cannot rush we can't go too fast or even too slow it has to be the right pace for you with the knight of pentacles so this is the the earth night right the most um practical earthly night here so we're talking about the everyday steps in this process for you um but more than that i'm seeing the building process i think that in the near future and even in the present time you are going to see a steady build up of your energy and your success and if you feel like that is an area of struggle for you i think that another added message for those of you if if you feel this resonates um that you're going to be learning those vital skills okay that step-by-step process um, to adding to your success little by little. So <clears throat> it could even be talking about the simple things as such as habits or building knowledge or, you know, just again, getting into those routines and stuff like that. So the good news is that what spirit wants you to know is that you're on a great path, a great trajectory. And I, I feel here, it's pretty obvious that you're going to be succeeding. You're going to, you're going to be building prosperity, success, you know, um, financial security, for yourself and it does look like the nine of pentacles it does look like for many of you maybe like 80 percent of you it feels like you're doing this on your own like these are your own ideas maybe this is separate from what you're doing with for example if you work for a company or whatever the case is it looks like there's a big idea here that you have just for you that you're developing just on your own um whether it's in addition to like if you do other work or not um Again, I see the projected outcome here is that there is going to be financial security, financial success, um, and again, not only finances, but we are also talking about just your energy, your groundedness, and your practicality of how you're doing everything. I feel like um, I'm not sure if this is involving a creative idea for some of you, because <clears throat> sometimes it's a creative idea, but it doesn't always have to be a creative idea to, uh, to see this type of energy, right? So e whichever the case is, um, I do feel like many of you are kind of already past the stage where you were doing the brainstorming, you were doing the visualization manifestation, and now it's like where it's, again, heading into the earthly energy. Uh, with the exception of the strength card, I think that's a fire card. Everything else is the earth energy. So here we are, we're making it real. We're taking the steps, we're seeing the results. So really, really powerful start here, group number one. Um, I'm very curious to know what you're working on. There's a lot of enthusiasm, there's a lot of motivation. So those of you, so everyone is gonna have a different, I think, uh, loca um, not location, but uh, phase that you're in. So some of you, if you're, just beginning this process just have patience you'll see that this energy comes about in time others of you if you're like in the middle or more towards uh the later stages of this journey this is where you're going to be seeing things really bloom you know there's a lot of seeds that are sprouting that you planted a while ago so that's really really amazing okay so let's get some more cards <clears throat> Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more? Are there any other important messages for group number one, our gold feather group, um, and what you want them to know about their career or prosperity of any kind? Spirit group one, what do you want them to know about their career? Okay, let's see. So we have temperance. Here's the temperance card. Let's see what the other ones are. We have the page of wands, the three of cups, the fool, and the five of cups. Okay. So over here with the three of cups, it does give me this idea or this vibe 
Uh, yes, there are some other people involved here in certain aspects of what you're doing. It could just be support. It could be um, friendships. It could be even business partnerships or family involvement here in some regard, right? With the Nine of Pentacles, I really wasn't sure because I did say 80% of you. I, I think that's what I said. Um, it does look like this is a standalone idea. You're very independent in the way that you're going about things. But um, with the Three of Cups here, I do feel there's a special message here. Uh, like if you're in the 80 or 20%, whichever one, if you're doing it alone or with other people, the message that Spirit wants you to know is that there there is help available to you and they want you to... I think for some of you, you would you would definitely benefit from a collaboration of some sort, maybe not in the entire thing you're working on, but they are showing that there are people here surrounding you, or at least one person that is close by in proximity, and they do want to help you. They do want to support your goal, your dream, your vision. Um, and maybe they are involved with some of the practical aspects of things. Maybe they're involved in the whole thing. Um, I don't know your individual feelings about that because maybe you do want to do some of it on your own. But they're saying that if you do work with others in this in this uh, path, that number one, um, it will have that success. It will be beneficial to you and to the other person or people. But just make sure of one thing. The only advice I think I see for this, or at least I'm feeling, um, is that please make sure that the person that you're allowing into your sort of creative or productive bubble, make sure that they have good intentions. And this is really ideal here. Um, try to make it so that you guys are on the same page or like try to work with someone that is on the same page as you are. That's kind of tough sometimes, um, but that would make this obviously the... The highest good outcome so that one you can think about and use your intuition see what fits because that one's not for everyone but the page of wands is this openness kind of open attitude kind of uh energy right <clears throat> as is the fool i feel like i'm I feel like my throat's scratchy i'm sorry so here's the fool um this is the new beginning this is the uh, new chapter, this is freedom, this is new ideas. So everything here is still pretty much the same energy. And you are on this new path, you are on this new road. And again, you will be supported by human beings and your spirit guides. But we do have this interestingly placed Five of Cups card. And then the Temperance card is kind of floating by itself all the way up here. So this Five of Cups, maybe, I think for some of you, maybe this represents times in the past where you have tried things and it didn't work out there was disappointment maybe in the near future you may even come across some types of disappointment or you know things didn't work out in that particular way whatever the case is whatever caused this or whatever will end up for some of you causing this energy uh, i think the temperance card is up here because this is acting as i would probably say your higher self or your guardian angel. The way that this card is removed from everything else, it does look to me, and it's higher up, it's it's actually high, like, uh, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't, but like it's, it's higher up in the spread. Um, it does look like this is a high frequency, kind of a spirit guide <clears throat> or angel that's watching you, watching over you. And they're here to lead the way. They're, they're even in the spread it, it's a, a bit further out so i do feel that this angel is leading the path for you to make sure that things are aligning to your highest good your best benefit um and that is very difficult sometimes to accept you know like how things align behind the scenes uh it's, it's hard to surrender because with this amount of motivation, with this amount of passion, um, obviously we're going to want things to go in a certain direction. We're going to want clarity. We're going to want things to go our way and, and all of that. But the only advice, so Spirit wants you to know, an additional message here, what they want you to know is that sometimes it won't necessarily go in the way that you planned. It's great to make plans and it's great to be logical and practical when it 
when it calls for it. But remember, the intuition is actually the strongest inner compass for most things. And so if you surrender and ask your guides at all times to help you as you make these decisions, as you uh, build for yourself, I feel that they will come swooping in to really help to align things but that is going to require you to trust them and trust within that path so um that may not resonate with everybody but if you have done this before you're going to know exactly the feeling so it's it's the feeling where you're just like okay I, I can see that this isn't working i'm getting frustrated i'm getting you know anxious about this outcome let me take a step back and just relax maybe do something else for a second just kind of meditate on things and and just keep going right and then you're going to see that within a couple of days or whatever amount of time that clarity will come through um that has definitely happened to me more times than i can count so i can vouch for that spirit any final messages for uh group number one what do you want them to know about their career especially the future anything else of advice our gold feather group thank you I am seeing an unexpected potential partner come through. Again, you have a message about some sort of partnership. And like I said, just follow your intuition um, because uh, anyone can come through at any time. And, and we can't really know for sure how it's going to work out, right? Except through a lot of time, we can see the person's intentions. Um, but group one, I do feel in the near future, maybe within a couple, like, they're telling me either three three weeks up to three months, possibly, from when you're watching this. There is someone unexpected that is going to come out the woodworks and just be involved in some way. Either they're working on something similar or they want to help you or they want to give you feedback. Like, there is something there and it is very unexpected. Okay, so that's Seven of Swords. Whoa, it <laughs> just like flew. And then... um. You can see here that it is like, a, I would say this is maybe a member of your soul family or regular family or uh, like someone of significance. This is not, I don't think this is like a casual acquaintance. I feel like this is of significance because the lover's card is here. And the fact that they're coming through as the king of wands does show that like-minded entrepreneurial kind of spirit. We also have the eight of uh, pentacles as well so this is just the continuation of hard work um whether it's you or them or both of you there's there's a lot of hard work a lot of putting heads together uh that i'm seeing here so i'm realizing now <laughs> i'm realizing now that i i sounded like the whole time that i was talking about the building of business and uh, like a person's own business or product or project sorry um i completely forgot that this could have been a different entirely different way of resonating so if you are working for let's say a company or something like that and you're not necessarily building up a brand or whatever it is uh, this will still resonate okay so whatever the case is maybe a lot of you are building yourself with wanting to rise higher um, maybe you're wanting to pitch some ideas to people in your on your teams or like whatever the case is uh, people who you work for or near okay and over here it's the same message is that there is going to be a person available to help to maybe continue the creative juices and stuff like that or like help to continue this productivity um any other final mes messages spirit for group number one regardless of their situation what would you what do you want to tell them about their career what do you want them to know spirit final messages for group one thank you we have the queen of cups we have the three of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the six of swords hmm. <laughs> it does look like you this is the third time you're getting a message that someone is going to be involved with whatever it is that you're doing but i'm just wondering if for some of you you've, you're already past that point and you've moved away from a particular person maybe you changed your mind maybe for some of you if that doesn't resonate then this person could be coming from a distance and having maybe recently had some sort of a change and they're coming towards you. That is a 
that is going to be different for everyone. But this is, again, the third time you're getting a message of some sort of collaboration. Can we have a final message of advice for any collaborations, aside from, obviously, listen to your intuition? Anything else? If, well... If you're always around other people and you're not sure of who to work with or who to trust in a general sense, I actually recommend to do some energy protection. Maybe walk around with like black tourmaline. I I um I have the video of in the description. I've had it for a while for how to protect your aura. That's just so that you can have a filter of who to work with, you know. Any final message for that? We have the 8 of cups. Why do we have the moving on card twice, Spirit? What's going on with that? I think that they may want you to take a break, take a little bit of time to think about things and just be in stillness and to refocus on how you can make your path ahead of you uh, match with your align with your joy and align with your satisfaction of whatever it is you're doing um i'm not honestly sure why they gave you two cards of moving on i call them the moving on cards um maybe they're just saying that you have moved away from something or someone and you may need to kind of recalibrate yourself and just refocus on like eye on the prize type of a thing okay I, i'm gonna get one more <laughs> spirit and we'll last message please for group number one last message thank you All right, so your final message, we have the Knight of Cups, and it's pretty much the same thing. You know, just keep going, um, uh, keep going with the flow. Try not to block yourself. If you begin to get frustrated, you don't see the results that you want. Again, just surrender, relax, and allow your guides to uh, kind of guide you on the path, uh, like your own inner compass of intuition and your spirit team. So just keep on going, okay? So group one, I'm really interested to know what you're working on or, you know, what's the situation with your careers or just in general. Um, so you can let me know below. Uh, and if you did miss the introduction, I announced that I have created my very own deck, my, my own tarot deck. And in the next video or so, I will be doing the unboxing and letting you know all of the information if you're interested to pre-order it. Um, so thank you guys so much. Personal readings are uh, still open, I think, for March and Akashic Records readings with Kaylee. Uh, should, the links are below. Okay, so thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the Chrysoprase. I think that's a new one for me. I just had to get it because its color is so beautiful. Spirit, uh, this reading is for group number two, our Chrysoprase group. And what you want them to know about their career. Please provide us clear guided messages. Thank you. Okay. I hope I'm accurate with this reading. I actually felt a little out of it when I was preparing. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> Spirit, what do you want group number two to know about their career? Anything that's going on with their career or even finances or personal situations? Spirit, group two, what do you want them to know? Chrysa, please. Group two, group two. Oh, okay. What do you want them to know, Spirit? Okay, so group two, I feel your very, very first message is about either the present or the immediate, or rather the recent past, where if you were dealing with some struggle or hassle, or even a, a financial struggle specifically, uh, this is going to be temporary. The Five of Swords, it doesn't look like a nice card, but it is a card that is of temporary conflict. So I like that, obviously, you know, like things happen, but it is going to die down, whatever was going on. You have also the Five of Pentacles. If you are in that financial struggle or you're worrying that you will be, this should come into balance very soon. If you're watching this in March when I am posting, then it could happen as soon as March. Um, if you're watching it any other time, it's it's going to be, you know, still right around the corner, uh, like a couple weeks maybe. And then you have here the sun, okay? So the sun card is bringing about, and this is going to happen within April if you're watching in 
when I'm posting it, but uh, it's, again, it's coming soon. These are all timeless readings, by the way, like for, for the most part. So the Sun card is bringing about clarity and hope and a passion and motivation forward, definitely. I actually think that what this is more than your situation is actually your energy. This is going to be your whole vibe of your path ahead. And this is the reason why things are improving in your situation is actually because your aura is becoming brighter, your mind is becoming clearer. And maybe the way that you speak to yourself and about things is becoming much more encouraging and positive. Uh, so a lot of self confidence, like a boost of energy, a boost of, uh, in general, this warmth you know and i again the the timing here it, i am getting a, f a feeling for a lot of you that this could coincide with if there's a change of seasons coming up for you especially if it's a like if there's warmth coming towards you I, I feel that this is going to match nicely with that i did notice the bottom of the deck we have the page of pentacles so again you should be seeing a shift coming soon especially if there was struggle prior to this point. And, and whatever the case is, like I said, things are balancing. Some of you, if it wasn't that you were struggling with something, if that doesn't resonate exactly, then with the two of pentacles, you might have been deciding something. And obviously, if you're deciding something of importance enough to show through here in the reading, um, then this could really have a great impact on what's next for you. I do see, and this is really nice to see, that you make the decision aligned with your happiness so notice i didn't say you made the right decision you made the decision that's aligned with your happiness and i think that's a really wonderful thing spirit what else do they need to know please about their career or any other related energy chris appraise group group two what do they need to know spirit thank you career What do they need to know, group two, about their career? Yeah, okay. So like I said, you know, the clarity is really coming in strong here. And I'm getting strong vibes for, yes, for April. A little bit going into May for some of you. But here it is. Uh, strike of clarity, direction. Um, even having a step-by-step -step approach or just knowing what to do, where to go, and what you want all of the good stuff, you know, that this is, this is your clarity, your personal clarity. Some of you I'm getting a, like for a smaller number of you, I'm actually getting a vibe that you're fed up with something. So it could have been the actual job situation, could have been certain people that you're around, or even just, you know, generally speaking, the situation that you're in, or energy, I should say, <clears throat> that you're in. And then over here, we have the, the wheel of fortune. Okay, I always like seeing this card, you know, I see the the wheels turning here in your favor, or this is basically just like a strong indicator of destiny at play. And then we have the chariot. So now you guys can see for yourselves that this is turning, uh, this is turning in quite a powerful way. The shift is very, very powerful. So with this chariot card and the fact that it's also the number seven, I do feel that there is a range of events happening for you from, let's say, it could be in this month, yes, like it, if you're watching in March, but it, it could also be from April to July-ish, where there's going to be a lot of activity for you in, in your life. And obviously, like, I'm thinking within the career aspect of life, but that also could be true for, like, everything else. Spirit, what do they need to know specifically? Any helpful advice, highest good messages for their career path in general? What do they need to know? <clears throat> okay so this is huge even bigger sword of clarity from the queen of swords you have the ace of swords so now instead of just your own personal strike of clarity you have one now from the divine too so this tells me that you're really syncing up with your guides with the universe with divine with your higher self and i do wonder where you're going because they're not telling me just yet. This is really just that kind of like a lightning strike 
Maybe they're telling you something about your purpose. Maybe they're telling you something about, well, yeah, like your destiny, your purpose, your path, a mission of some sort. Uh, if you feel it would be helpful, you can check out the description. I'll link if, if it's not already there. I will link the reading for what is your purpose or um, you know, related stuff. Like, I don't know if you've seen it already, but I do feel with this Ace of Swords, I have a suspicion it has to do with purpose. So that because it here, it's like, okay, I, I know what to do, but this is like, I know what the universe wants me to do kind of a feeling. It's very big. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more? Spirit, what do you want them to know about their career, please, or any <clears throat> related energy? Thank you. Group two, group two, Chris Trace. What do you want them to know about their careers? Yeah, so here with the star card, this is hope, faith, dream, and vision. It's everything. And it's very spiritual and, and even cosmic. This is taking you outside of the practical world or 3D world for a moment. Over here, this felt three-dimensional. This felt like... There was the everyday struggle kind of energy. But this is taking you outside of that. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is what this is about. So spirit is taking you and lifting you from that everyday kind of struggle vibe. And there, it's almost like you're floating in space and you're... It's hard to explain, but um, you're, you're just kind of floating amongst the stars or something like that. Um, things are becoming lighter things will become lighter for you. Um, again, we already established it will be clearer for you, but they're becoming lighter as well. They're becoming more, almost more loving. What I, what I mean by that is, uh, I really wish I had a better way to explain this, but loving energy, I kind of equate with divine and, um, and guides, right? Because it's this, this unconditional love and this pure energy that that's kind of what I mean by that. Um, and I just feel like you're taking it, it feels like a break it feels like a huge unburdening of your soul because of this knowledge that is coming through for you and again many of you it is going to be april um or, or soon okay anything else that they need to know what do you want them to know about their careers so I, i'm going to gather that with this message that many of you are going to be reorienting in your path um, i did mention the decision before and I said to you that you're going to be aligning with your happiness this is certainly connected I feel like a lot of you are going to realize just by yourself what makes you happy right just on your own what makes you happy what you're passionate about perhaps and then over here it's almost as if to say that spirit put down another puzzle piece you know, they, they put down another piece of the whole puzzle to show you this is how you can apply it this is how you can move forward with it <laughs> like that's a great message it's very relieving okay anything else any other messages for group two what spirit what do you want them to know about their career <clears throat> now i know that what i just said is very mysterious but that is part of this path for you ahead um yeah i could maybe tell you a little bit of hints but their main message is that they're coming in with that sort of clarity. So it's kind of like they they want to give you this reveal. But the, the sun card is going to be the biggest hint, right? What makes you happy? What brings you the most joy? And how can you kind of apply that, as they said, to your path, especially of career? Um, my only recommendation for that for the sun card is to just think about it. Um, some people tell me that they have no idea what their happiness is. They have no idea if they're passionate about anything. And you know what? That's actually okay because what you could do is you could just create an intention, an affirmation to open that up, right? So to like maybe just picture yourself, your soul or your heart or whatever, opening up and say, I am ready to explore what makes me happy, something like that. So... If, if others of you already know the answer to this, it like I said, this is going to be related to that happiness. So you have the two and ace of cups in the world. Kind of a similar message here. So the ace of cups is your heart. This is a lot of healing. This is a lot of spiritual energy. You're really, really 
getting into the flow of everything now. This is a totally different vibration than when I started over here. Which makes me feel like um, some of you, if you've been having a lot of ups and downs, every step of the way, you are going to achieve a little bit more and more clarity, more stability, and more healing. So that's great to hear. Um, others of you, it may have been the case that you felt stuck for a while and it was just sort of uh, kind of stable in the stuck energy but whatever the case is it's clearing up and it's becoming much more it's becoming brighter and f more fine-tuned uh, two of cups is really I feel like actually you facing you so I think that this is a, a very self-encouraging card self-loving card maybe you're just talking to yourself almost like you're speaking to yourself in the mirror you're talking to yourself out loud and saying Stuff like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time, but we're in this together now. It kind of just feels like that. And then with the world card, it's showing the completion of the previous cycle. And then we start the new one, especially being that you have two aces and the wheel of fortune and the chariot too, going forward. Um, and, and with the two of cups, like I said, this is quite significant. Our own inner language, our own self-talk is it absolutely affects our careers or obviously any area of our lives um, and here I'm seeing you make a lot of peace with that aspect others of you if you feel like uh, if you feel like it wasn't exactly your negative voice it could have even been someone else uh, whatever the case is that voice is it's gonna stop there's gonna be boundaries and stuff like that is there any uh, spirit is there any other <clears throat> specific reveals that they can prepare for or anything else that you'd like them to know group two any final message about their career thank you <clears throat> okay all right so we have the king of cups and the moon here you know i'm this might seem like a negative message or, or like a disadvantage because what I'm seeing here is that there could still be a lot of mystery or confusion with regard to your creativity, your emotional balance or your creative ideas and stuff. But this is actually not a negative message at all. I, I'm seeing that you're actively balancing this out. Um, for you guys, your messages have been that way where I, I do feel there was this a bit of an up and down even from the very beginning. But they're saying here that soon you will have that clarity because remember you have the sun card. This is the moon. It's temporary. You're going to have that flow of your own intuition, creative idea, and spiritual direction. It's all coming together. And I can see that, okay, because of this. The strength and the nine of pentacles. Really nice. Um, I am not 100% sure of this next message. Please just take this as it resonates. But uh, group one had the nine of pentacles and they had a recurring message of working with someone. And I'm just wondering if you happen to know a person that's also watching this and they picked group one. Maybe there's a message for uh, the both of you in, in these groups because this looks like them. <laughs> but anyway, if, if it's okay if it doesn't resonate. But this is you. Okay, we have the strength card, nine of pentacles showing um, that you are building your own uh, success, your own confidence, your autonomy, you know, just becoming very free. And in one other reading, that word sovereign comes to mind. Uh, you're singing your song to your spirit guide right there. You're singing your song. Um, you're very pleased. In this card, you're, you're becoming very pleased with yourself and how things are opening up. And actually, the reason why, more than anything else, is actually because of this, your, the clarity of your flow, your creative process, and just the emotional balance as well. I know that a lot of this reading, it didn't really sound like we were talking about career. And group two, I feel like that was the biggest message Spirit had for you, was that your own inner world is so connected closely to your outer world your outer path especially career and whatever else uh 
that's why they kind of intertwined everything. So in other words, they want you to find that strength, that balance, and that uh, centeredness within yourself. And you're going to see how beautifully this affects everything else. See that? Yeah. So um, to be continued... <laughs> Uh, let me know what happens because uh, this is to be continued. You have some things going on. And if this does come through, please let me know what is, uh, what's the big mystery. I'd love to know what's going on with you guys. So if you want to let me know below. So um, real quick, in the intro I did mention, if you missed, I have created my very own tarot deck. And in the next video or so, I will do the unboxing and let you guys know if um, you would like to like you know support or pre-order it that would be awesome but other than that uh, personal readings I think are still open for March Akashic Records readings with Kaylee are also um, the, the two links are below thank you guys uh, sending you my love and I will see you next time okay take care bye bye Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number three, which is the citrine and copper. Okay, so let me shuffle. Spirit, this reading is for group number three, citrine and copper. And what you would like them to know about their career. Please provide us clear guided messages. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's do one more for good luck. Spirit, what is your first message for group number three, please? What would you like them to know about their career or just as a starting message, anything else? Group three, group three. What would you like them to know or what do you want them to know about their career, group three? All right, I can see already that this is going to be an interesting message because I'm like, wait. <laughs> okay, so we have the Two of Swords. And let me just silence that. The Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords. You have, okay, typical Seven of Swords behavior. Um, we have the Sun. We have the High Priestess. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so what what a honestly strange <laughs> assortment of cards. If you if you read tarot, and can, can anyone else let me know if that's like the strangest thing ever? I don't know what it is about these cards that struck me as strange to all come out together. And as a starting message, I just wanted to say that. So let's piece it together. Okay, so what spirit wants you to know in a general sense i do feel there's a clear distinction between the swords and then these over here okay my first impression which I'm, which is just coming to me now it felt initially like yes i and i did note this that there was a feeling of confusion i felt that there was something hidden within your intuition group three and that is a very difficult thing to even prove because it's hidden from us and i it may not that message may not resonate at all that's what i was saying um something is hidden from your own consciousness right now that will soon reveal itself and it does look like you're going to really take that information and move towards a totally higher path of some kind i don't know what it is yet um with the two of swords i feel that there was something blocked or restricted in some way and with the four of swords i do feel like there was some of you it may have just been that you were taking a very long break from things uh mentally or physically or it could just be that a part of you even felt dormant or stagnant or whatever for example if it was more emotional maybe if you happen to be a creative person just as an example, maybe you haven't done any art or writing or whatever uh, in a very long time. Uh, if you haven't been working for a while and you just really needed to recalibrate yourself, that could be another example of that. Um, and you know, group three, what I think is the result here in the very near future, I'll try to get when. This works for you. This works really well for you. You needed this time. You needed this... <clears throat> 
I guess you could, I mean, whatever you want to call it, like blockage or whatever, um, doesn't even look like stagnation anymore. It just looks like you're taking a pause. You needed this time. And I can totally relate to that because there's certain projects or paths that I will be on and I will think I'm procrastinating or just <laughs> really like wasting a lot of time dragging my feet. But I actually feel in some cases that spiritually I'm aligning very gradually. And that is not to sound like a cop out, although sometimes in my case it can be. Um, but I think that sometimes if things are stagnant or slow or, you know, a little confusing, it's just simply that we need to align spiritually, right? So this does happen for you and it w well, will happen for you. I, I don't know if it already has for some of you. So here you're waking up. Now I can see what they're going for. That's why this message was so just unusual to me. Look at the sun. It's like the sun is coming up. I've never seen that happen with this card. That's a first for me where I literally saw it as the sun rising in the sky or coming in through your bedroom window or, you know, whatever the case is. Um, I'm seeing you wake up and this is awesome. You're, and this is symbolic, uh, I think, that you're very refreshed. Your mind is clear and sharp and alert and you know exactly where you want to go. Uh, your intuition is going to be on fire, like on point, so focused. I'm really feeling it. I'm even waking up more. I was in a bit of a head fog when I started the video, but you guys are helping me out. Thank you so much for that. Your leadership and your, uh, your ability to, well, your power and your leadership skills are rising. You see you're wearing the red, you have the staff, you're moving forward, you're just going, you're, you're traveling here, you're, you're moving on up, Okay. So that was a lot of words I just said, but um, I do hope that this makes sense so far. So uh, again, everyone is different in the pacing. You may still be in this first stage of things. So if you just have patience, accept that you are aligning. Uh, if you can take action, you know, you could go for it. But if you're, if you're like me and you're seeing that certain actions just are not working, at first it could be because of a spiritual reason uh, you know, like i said it's not always the case just uh you know follow your own intuition but whatever is the case you will benefit from uh an attitude that is not self-punishing so try not to be like oh my god what are you doing you're wasting all your time you you stink at this you know try not to do that because that's only gonna keep you in a negative blockage state so Try to like, you know, be neutral or accept that. And then you're going to see this shift because this is going to happen naturally. High Priestess comes in with this open, calming, receptive energy. I always think of someone sitting in a, a dark water or like a dim, dimly lit, moonlit water. And then like circles, ripples are bringing something towards that person like the waters are making it drift towards you naturally it's it's really mysterious and um magical but that's what i think of and that's what i think is happening so here you are you've woken up you're moving forward and now i'm excited to see where you're going okay um <clears throat> spirit for group number three what do they need to know about the what would you like them to know about their careers spirit what do you want them to know thank you thank you for group number three I do think that you have multiple talents or opportunities. I didn't get that from the cards. I got that from your option because there's three of them. And all of them spell out abundance and prosperity. I do think that in the coming, uh, in the near future, you're going to, you're going to um, discover that you have options, that you have many paths that you can take. Uh, or if you were already working on a particular thing or thinking of a particular path, you're going to begin to see that path is branching and I love that because that's that's a nice message for people who like variety if you don't want to feel trapped if you want to expand so that's what I'm seeing um that could come through in May uh if you're watching this one I'm posting it and in even so like it, it could still happen in May for many of you <clears throat> okay spirit what else what do you want them to know about their career We have the Three of Cups, definitely celebrating something here. 
I really feel like this is literal. Um, if this becomes literal, some of you could be celebrating some great news in the next couple weeks or couple months, depending on your situation. So I feel like someone, I definitely feel like some of you could have news of maybe a raise, some, yeah, some type of a promotion or raise, um, a new project or idea that you've been really wanting for a long time. It could have even been unexpected. Uh, although I think the majority, it will be that you, you went for it. So it won't be unexpected because you were trying for it. I feel like this is a literal celebration for so many of you. Can you tell us a little bit more? What do they, what do you want them to know about their career? Group three spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So here is some, let me see. Oh my goodness. This is quite another, like you guys are, I'm not sure why the cards are kind of weaving a very intricate story. Either you're highly complex creative minds or a lot of you are tarot readers because this is a challenging one. I love a challenge. I think you guys know by now. Um, but your cards are coming in in a very uh, like atypical manner. I don't know what to say. But um, so this message is really powerful. I love this. Wow. So I don't exactly know the time frame of this because you may have already gone through it and it could even be for some of you something that you felt was recurring. This does look to me like an old battle, right? Nine of wands, five of cups, five of pentacles. It looks like that there is this burnout and feeling quite disappointed or really struggling to the point where you are convinced at times like maybe in the past over here you may have been convinced that things will never get better financially or like in your in your career paths in general right that's what it seemed like but these two cards over here say a lot more um we have the 10 of pentacles and the ace of cups so i'm going to say this message kind of slowly because they're giving it to me very deliberately okay this is a message of energy manifestation group three first of all uh you're a very powerful manifester and i think you know that um and they're about to tell you what is crucial in creating this and this the three of cups and the ten of pentacles okay they're about to tell you how um here it is ace of cups this is pretend this is you in order for you to fully create that prosperity, you are going to have to open up your energy, your self, your heart, your soul, you know, whatever, your mind, obviously. You're going to have to open it up and really release this negative or burnout energy that has or will create blockage for you. Um, I always think of the cup, the chalice, as ourselves like if there's a a block within the cup if it's clogged obviously nothing else can fit in nothing else can flow through at all so this is what they're referring to they want you to know in the near future and even right now right now in the present as you're watching that you have to be careful with what you allow in your cup and just open up that energy receive abundance receive prosperity and even miracles or help of your guides um okay so they took a minute or two with that message because this is the biggest message that they wanted you to know for this reading okay um <clears throat> yeah so I, I think that that always is a worthy message it's always worthy you know um to say and to hear because this is going to help you for the rest of your life is just to know that you have the power of energy manifestation energy creation right or i get like whatever the name of it is you have this ability and if you forget that on some days then yeah that can lead to some difficulty so please be careful and whatever the case is uh i do see you 
creating this abundance. So this is the path. If you follow that advice, this is the path that you are heading towards. You have financial security, you have creative opportunities or any kind of opportunities with like ideas and stuff. What else do they need to know, please? Uh, Spirit, what do you want them to know about their careers? Group three, any final messages about where they're heading or any advice? Thank you. <clears throat> So we have the fool at the bottom, which I noticed very uh, strong card coming through. I do feel like, uh, you know, now I can see why you guys had such mysterious messages. I think that only some of you had a clear direction where you wanted to go next or like whatever it was that you were doing or working on. But I do think that there are many of you that may not quite have that formed just yet. And, and um, that is going to start for you, actually. Because remember, I said, like, here you are, you're waking up, you're moving forward. But, <clears throat> but here, it does really strike me as there are some things to still um, sort out. Wait, let me show you the... So we have the Five of Swords and the two of cups so right here it does look like you are coming into some sort of inner balance still or maybe some sort of inner decision i feel like that's still happening and over here you have the queen of cups the three of swords and the empress so I, again i feel like there's something significant that is still healing or lifting within your energy so again this is going to affect your decision um i would say for the most part that the advice for anybody would be to follow your happiness, your passions, or your talents, and, and just do your best to use your intuition, how you can apply that towards your career path. Obviously, like, uh, that's not always easy to do, but that is the advice that I give everybody, even personal readings, everybody, right? Um, and I only tell you that because of the energy that it creates. If we follow our happiness or passions, we're automatically in a high vibration. But if we do something for any other reason, uh, we're not quite so happy, you know, or high vibrational, and we might become burnt out or stressed or just unfulfilled. And that will kind of like shrink our energy. And, you know, it won't be like that sort of um, self-fulfilling, self-replenishing thing forward. Um, you know, obviously, it's up to you. Like, you don't have to take my advice on that one. But I just figured uh, that is what I tell people. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> okay. Um, Anything else? Where are they headed? Any other final messages for their careers? What do you want them to know? Ten of Pentacles, please. So it is the same. The message is still the same. They're indicating here that you... Because I just tried to clarify Ten of Pentacles and they gave me the moon. And they also gave me the Ten of Wands. Okay? And they gave me the page of wands. So it's the same exact message. They're saying that you may not have all the answers yet, that you may still be unburdening yourself in maybe your career path, your personal life, but they still want you to be open to all kinds of opportunity. So let's say that in the near future, uh, there's something different to try and it, you didn't really expect it or you know plan for this, but... <clears throat> But they're asking you to be open, simply be open to any kind of opportunities that come your way as long as it's something that you can find joy in, even if it doesn't end up being permanent. That's actually fine. But the point that they're making is that you are on this path towards that stability. Um, any other helpful advice or hints here? Because I, I certainly, I, I'm a little confused. Um or maybe it's just still forming, like I said. Any final messages for group three? Okay, so Knight of Cups and Page of Swords. Same thing. Um, clarity is on its way. Uh, they mentioned, I, I don't know if I said it before, but they mentioned something with July, with some answer coming through, some clarity coming through. So group three, um, I'm going to leave it there and I am just wondering and please let me know if I answered 
anything for you because I, I feel like for some reason I'm still completely confused. I don't know if it's our shared energy because it may be. Um, but I do hope that some of this was helpful. Okay, I do hope that it, it gave you um, any kind of clarity. And if it didn't, I do have some links below for my past pick of cards. I'll try to put some helpful ones, um, like what your purpose is, what your soul is trying to tell you, you know, what you need to hear right now. I'll, I'll just link those below in case you want more like support. So that is all group three. And if you missed the intro, I mentioned that I have created my very own tarot deck. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll have a video of unboxing uh, maybe in the next video or so and I'll um, give you all the info like uh, if you want to um, check it out or pre-order so personal readings are still open I think for March and Akashic Records readings with Kaylee uh, both links for me and hers are below thank you guys and sending you blessings and I will see you next time take care bye bye Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the Sage and Mint Bundle. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know about your career. Spirit, this reading is for group number four, please. Sage and Mint Bundle. Please provide us clear guided messages. Thank you. About their careers. Spirit, do you have a starting message for group number four? What do you want them to know about career or anything. So group four, immediately I did see the message with the Empress. This is your first card. Uh, regardless of if it's career or not, I feel like it's still going to be the same thing. Um, they mentioned something about your own empowerment. So this time of your life, now or into the near future, um, you're going to feel the most empowered that maybe you have felt in a very long time or ever. And this is really important with especially career because um, this has to do with our, obviously our, our self-confidence, um, our ability or willingness to receive prosperity, energetically speaking, um, you know, boundaries or, uh, again, like I, I feel like the self-worth, um, the self-worth, thing is uh, the most important here because if you feel you are worthy within yourself this does mean that you not only want to go after um, prosperity and after certain career opportunities but uh, again energetically you're going to be receiving that and um, that is going to really brighten your energy it's going to make you rise higher within your energy so we have the two of pentacles we have the nine of Wands. I think that where you just came from in your energy, or if this is resonating for now, it's going to pass very soon. There was a lot of battle. There was a lot of maybe feeling really imbalanced. It could have even been feeling indecisive, just kind of a little lost for things and your career and whatever. Like maybe I feel like for you guys, it's going to be very much related career and personal life. I feel like it's going to be the same. Um, but I do feel like this is what you were going through, but this is what you're rising out of, like I said. So Empress, again, you know, I just really love that word for you, empowerment and just um, radiant. Uh, I mean, uh, like a master attractor of positive energy. And speaking of, we do have the nine of cups at the bottom, which is talking about happiness, you know, joy. Spirit, where is this heading then for their careers? What do you... What would you like them to know about their careers, group four? <clears throat> what would you like them to know, spirit? Thank you. Uh, so like I said, you are rising higher. We have the three of wands. And then we have the page of pentacles. I think that for many of you, and this obviously does depend on your current situation, um, you are going to be really taking the time and effort to create opportunities for advancement. So whether that is trying to go after new 
uh, jobs, new opportunities, higher paying opportunities, um, more challenging opportunities, whatever the case is, you are going to be going after it. And I do see here with Page of Pentacles that you are going to be successful in grabbing those. Um, again, provided that you remain in this Empress energy, which is like uh, everything I described before, probably not so... <laughs> smoothly because I was kind of struggling there like for some reason I was feeling with the empress card specifically I don't know why I felt like my throat chakra was stumbling quite a bit and I don't know what that is it could be maybe it's it has to do with either your expression or your truth some of you may be discovering actively like right now unfolding as we speak you may still be discovering your own inner truth in terms of not only your career path but your sense of purpose okay so if that's the case you're again you're going to be achieving this you're going to be rising higher going for advancement exploring things um, I do think that this is a bit more, at least in these two cards, this feels very environmental. I, I feel like you are going to be rising higher or going after these opportunities in the three-dimensional world. Um, like more so, like it's, I feel like it's a 3D message more so than a, per, a spiritual one. Um, but that obviously, the spiritual message is still here. It's it's rising steadily. Spirit, what do you want them to know about their career? Group number four, Sage. What do you want them to know? Sage and Mint. Group four, what do you want them to know, Spirit, about their career? Thank you. So again, with, with these two cards, I did feel the ambition. I did feel the boost of the motivation. Wow. <laughs> wow. Talk about motivation. This is this is great. So we have Ace of Wands. That just is huge right there. We have the, this. I think this was actually first, the Four of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles. Really? Wow. Um, some of you may experience a little bit of a lag uh, sort of like a pause after you go after these opportunities, whichever ones it was. Uh, and that, like, if that does happen, just know that that's a normal part of this process, that it was kind of like meant to happen. Um, even if it's like several months, like there's going to be a lull is what they're telling me. So in Three of Wands and Page of Pentacles, if you apply for that promotion or job or like, um, you know, go after like this particular project or like whatever the case was if you do that just know that there could be for many of you like 75 percent of you there could be downtime in between but when that ends you will be seeing this burst of passionate lively energy and financial stability coming through i love this so much um okay so this is coming through i don't know exactly when because like i said this doesn't this is not going to apply to everyone but this uh, financial stability and this ace here some of you it could be happening in like um, <clears throat> maybe June if you're watching this in March when I'm posting it but it's really hard to say this could be three to four months for some of you but like it, it could take you by surprise spirit can you tell us a little bit more about the two cards here group four group four what are they what do you want them to know about their career. Thank you. I sincerely feel with the Ten of Pentacles, the like specifically they're saying that the money, like the money piece will be better, will be much better. Okay. Um, we have Ace of Cups here, another Ace. The Magician. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the Eight of Wands because obviously it's general, but um, some of you may be moving to get to this opportunity 
or some kind of travel is indicated here for whatever reason. The Magician card is, again, like a, a, a powerful manifestor card. Feels like some of you, uh, maybe like half of you, are going to be taking a specific leadership opportunity. I, just, I was like, is this, I, I kind of like cracked my knuckle there. I'm like, I don't know if that is like nerve wracking for some of you. Like it may involve public speaking or like leading a team or um, a group of people like, you know, collaboration stuff. Uh, but with the magician, yeah, it's it's you standing up, rising up in your power. Like I said, Empress, there is this confidence factor that is growing more and more. Um, <clears throat> and you're using your skills, your talents that you've always had, but maybe in the past it, it wasn't something that you put forth like ahead of you. Maybe you kind of uh, like hang, like we're hanging out in the shadows a little bit sometimes, just like not wanting to show yourself to the world at that time um the ace of cups here is just a lot of free-flowing creative ideas a lot of uh, healing energy a lot of healthy i think it's like harmony with your whole situation that that could include people as well um okay so let's see anything else spirit what do they need to know <clears throat> group number four what do you want them to know about their careers advice messages guidance thank you okay this is just <laughs> this, is, this is awesome so you have the page of wands and then you have the ace of pentacles my goodness not only is this your third ace but look at the pentacle i mean right that's amazing to me. So I think for some of you, the way that this is translating is that this opportunity and this show of leadership, it may create another job opportunity for you or financial opportunity for you that actually could be a new chapter or could be something completely different. Others of you, obviously, you could remain in the same path, like you don't have to go outside of that. But if you were looking to switch it up and, you know, expand and branch out, as I said earlier, I do see that happening or it's being, it's available to you. Um, so yeah, Ace of Pentacles is leading the way. Like I said, there's more financial security here. Um, I do feel July, if I have not already said that, I do feel July with Ace of Pentacles, something is coming here page of wands is still the same passionate energy very much open and curious and you know let's let's try things let's discover let's um let's go for it right so that energy that attitude is going to be very helpful um it's almost like a playful energy and an added message there spirit is asking you to take things with the light-hearted energy because if you take things too seriously if you work too hard if there's too much stress if there's too much like i guess rigidity or something then this energy won't be so light and um positive it may even turn you know to the opposite so just be careful uh yeah just have fun with it is what they're saying with some aspect of this so ace of pentacles i'm really interested in spirit can you give us a little bit more of the ace of pentacles and everything else important what do we need to know for group number four please could be unknown territory for a lot of you that you're stepping into but again i feel a sense of excitement yeah it can be very anxiety provoking absolutely but it is a challenge like i do see you accepting a lot of challenges here okay so we have the tower and the sun don't worry if you've seen towers <clears throat> in the past readings this is a good one okay so we have the tower and the sun together this is an unexpected strike of clarity or positive energy or divine intervention there could be many things it, it even could be of course an enlightenment of some sort but um this is going to shift things in a very significant way group four this this is really big um <sighs> wow uh I think that this is going to this is going to take you by surprise. It's going to be an overwhelming feeling of vision for you, of hope. And there's going to be 
so many dreams and visions that will come to you that you probably won't even know how to contain or channel. It's going to be a lot. Uh, it reminds me of the thing that meme do all the things. Uh, so this is big. This is going to really strike you in a different way. It, it, this, so whenever this comes through in the next couple months, just know that this is going to be extremely high energy to the point where it's like um, buzzing. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to use the wrong word here, but it's going to be like, <laughs> like really, it's going to be extremely high vibrational and to the point where it's like stirring you. Um, so that's there. That's there. Uh, definitely divine intervention there. This does remind me of the energy that I received. Uh, I, I may have told you already. The energy that I received three days before I made this tarot channel. They it felt like I it felt like I was manic. Like I mean, and I'm not really a stranger to that energy, but um, it felt like I was high, like legit high. Uh, like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I just, that's, that sounds quite wrong, but I was sober, I was not actually high, but the energy, I was manic with this energy, so uh, whatever the case is, um, please be careful with what I just said, because uh, I am talking about, like, these little bursts, I'm not talking about mental health, whatever, I'm talking about these bursts of energy, and this one is going to strike you and really kind of, like, um, I got the image of like you're f the, you flick the spinner and it goes crazy like that. So um, please don't be alarmed. If that is a sort of like a rare occurrence for you, th this is th going to be divine, giving you a burst of inspiration. Um, <clears throat> so final messages, please, for group number four. Final messages for group number four, please. Uh, any final advice, please? Okay, so group number four, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Queen of Wands. Um, it, they didn't really give a different message here. I feel like they said all that they want to say. Uh, the final... Um, the final message is just, you see there with the hanged man in the middle, to just, at a certain point, to just surrender. To, to really be accepting of all of these energies and miracles or um, blessings that divine is giving you or that the universe is giving you. Like, it's, it's again, I feel like it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of energy. I don't even know what to do with this energy. Um, so let me know what happens. That's all I can tell you. You're certainly very capable. It's a good mixture of your passionate leadership energy and your practical uh, three-dimensional energy as well. So uh, I think I'm going to have to leave it there. I got kind of like thrown off with that last part of the message. Um, but group number four, best of luck with everything. Okay, let me know what happens if you feel called to. Um, and by the way, if you did skip the intro, I mentioned that I have created my very own tarot deck. If you're interested about that, I um, in the next video or so, I'll do an unboxing and talk about pre-order and details and stuff like that if you guys are interested in ordering the deck. So thank you so much. Personal readings are still open, I think, for March below. And Akashic Records readings with Kaylee, her link is also below. Below. Thank you guys again, um, and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.